The Corpse Paint Show is glad to be in your life with our ups and downs every single Sunday. And, you know, right now there's more things going on in America than ever. A little bit. Right? Crazy. It's nuts. That's true. Crazy. Lily Lord is back. Thank you for being hello. here. Absolutely. It's great to have you. So we say hello to Nathan Gershon, Paul T. Taylor, Lily Lurid, and our wonderful guest, Arn Ra, who will be joining us shortly. This is Satan. We welcome you to the Corpse Bane Show. Hey, welcome all uh, Roku viewers, Ultra Toxic TV, and if you're watching us on Facebook, hey, we're live on Facebook right now on the Course Plane Show page, so Lily Lurid is monitoring. Hi, Lily. Hello. You look so good today. Thank you. Look so do you. you. Look at you. Hey, uh, he's monitoring the uh, chat room on the Facebook page, so let's start by saying hi to Nate, Nathan Gershon, and the movie is called Evil for Dinner. Now, uh, so um, I think Lily is a cannibal. I think she is. Well, this uh, movie is it? A little bit of that in it. I, a little, a skosh, a skosh. Okay. <laughs> so, okay. Just a nibble. A nibble. A nibble. <laughs> a nibble. Uh, okay. And um, all right, this is a full-length movie. Yes, this is uh, yeah. this is a feature film, and it's actually Travis Youngquist is the director. And the first thing I got to do is give him props because yeah. he did something that people in this industry are going to know how hard it is. He turned a short into a feature. Yes. You know, every year there's there's a few thousand shorts made, and a handful of them get turned into features. And it took him three years, yeah. and he did it. Yeah. And I'm here to tell you the results of this are going to blow everyone away. Because you just finished filming, I had a two-week filming schedule in Austin, right? Yeah. Uh, and, and just wrap that up. Yeah, we did principal photography around the Austin area. We had some location shoots in San Antonio and in Belton. Um, and we have completely wrapped that, and now the grinding post process begins. Yeah. So, will yeah. it take a year? Will it take eight months? Eighteen months? Ah, but uh, it's yeah, we made a movie, and it is going to be insane. Yes, good. <laughs> now, um, okay, and so uh, Little Spark Films turned me on to it, and I know they're a big part of it. And didn't they bring the cinematographer, etc.? Yeah, 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 good George Yorg. Yorg. Uh, <laughs> Joe Manko and his wife, uh, who are just fantastic people. I've worked with them before. I, I was on the set of The Torture. I was in The Torture, which Paul starred in, mm -hmm. which was I, I had already met them at Frightmare, where I was in the booth because of a movie I did for Chuck Norfolk out of Houston a few years ago, Life Insurance Lottery. And being just a Hellraiser guy, I started following mm -hmm. Paul when he got hired on to make the last Hellraiser. I, I'm happy this is being filmed because no one believed me. I'm hanging around the pinhead. Oh, wow. Yeah. Paul T. Taylor's pinhead. Really, really impressive. You, <laughs> yeah, it's a big deal. Um, so but, Joe and Little Spark Films and, and all of their guys, because they, they kind of bring a team. Uh, Corey and, and so many of those guys over there uh, helped out with all of this, and, and they, they really helped Travis out with this. And they made Yeah, Joe and, and Catalina. Happy birthday, Catalina. Oh, yeah. Happy birthday, Catalina. What? I will... Yeah, it is, and when I when I'm out of here, that I'm going to their set. So, tonight, yes, tonight. Yeah, uh, but they brought a large crew down there and stayed yes. for two weeks working on it. You know how hard Joe works. <sighs> yeah, he yeah. works his ass off. You are not the torturer, but you are the tortured, aren't you? Whoops. That's my life. <laughs> my life story. How come I can't hear you? It, it's, That's it, my life cl story. Closer to know. Mike. We want you guys closer to the a mic. Am, am I coming across? I want you closer to the mic. I'll just okay, it. Lily is going to bring us up to date on what people are saying about you. Nothing. It's Super Bowl. That's who we're competing against. <laughs> uh, uh, I see some black hearts there. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, we got some it. black hearts. Some people saying hi to Paul. Howdy. Um, Catalina is actually here in the chat right now. Yeah. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. 
Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Catalina. Can you hear me? Happy birthday to you. That's better. Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. You're going to have to sing it again. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Catalina. Happy birthday to you. Balti Taylor, he does Happy show birthday. tunes. Harvester of souls and show tunes, ladies and gentlemen. It's my name. Off Broadway. What else? Um, uh, okay, so I, I see some more. What do you got? Let's see. Catalina a couple times. Bob White said howdy, y'all. Howdy, howdy. And then some highs to Paul specifically, so screw you other guys. Hi! Yeah, pretty much. Hey, it's, I mean, it's, come on, Thanks, Paul, it's man. Paul Taylor, you know? I'm the also ran here today, and I'm I grateful for it. I think it was the way, the way Lily delivered that. <laughs> screw you guys. Miss Lurid. And yet, you're a lot more emotionally healthy than I am. So, you know, what would you rather have? <laughs> uh -huh. The doctor says I'm getting better. He keeps lowering the voltage. <laughs> Nathan Gershon, am I saying it right? Yeah, yeah. Nathan, um, Nathan Gershon. All right. So, what was your role? Your actor. What What did you do? So, I, I I have the good fortune of co-starring in this movie along with some other incredible people. I'm I'm also ran again. Um, I play Pierce, and the way to sum up Pierce is I'm an evil cowboy who happens to be 300ish years old. Yep. I, I'm slightly supernatural. And I'm the villain in the movie. <laughs> yeah. uh, I, I, the I am a nasty bad guy. I'm off in the woods leading my cult army. And I've, I've come to town to settle some scores with my brother, mm -hmm. who's also a supernatural being. And he is pay played by the legendary so. Cary O'Quinn. Yeah. Who uh, a lot of people will know who Cary O'Quinn is uh, above and beyond all else. He's one of the founders of Fangoria, Fangoria magazine. magazine. That's right. In the 70s. Yes. Yeah. And, and he's, he's also just a, a very natural actor. And his, his character was, you know, kind of, you know, uh, throughout the movie, a very stable character. I'm insane. I, uh, I, I'm kind of this angry Ross Perot, Southern Baptist preacher, kind of talking like this a lot throughout the movie. Oh, no. But every now and then, <laughs> every now and then, I get a little demon possessed. And I'm going to save that for the movie because uh, oh, okay. I've, I've, got, I've got like tripolar in this movie. So, uh, what is for dinner? Uh, what is for dinner? You might be. Um, so, we, uh, we're, we're a family of, of distinguished and prestigious cannibals. <laughs> Um, we, great, we, great we, Texas tradition. Te great Texas tradition. We, we dine it on is. the flesh of the living, uh, there, but we do it. No chainsaws. No chainsaws. All right, no. but it's, it is a Texas thing. But there are swords and knives and crazy, angry black cult people and incredible locations. And You they, lead the cult army. I do lead the cult army. Um, this, the, throughout the movie in different scenes, I have different members of my cult with me, and I'm going to give a shout out to my wife who uh, played one of my cult members in this movie. What's her name? Uh, Ruchi. Is she also your submissive? No. Oh, okay. I might be okay. hers. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah. That was... I'm um, sorry. My, my, sorry, Miss. It's Ruchi, I love you. My, my wife happens to be a physician, so she keeps reminding me she can sign death certificates and harvest my organs. <laughs> so I will end up for sale piece by piece in the Ukrainian market. I know someone who is in that market and... Yeah. We got to get to Lurid Wares. Mm -hmm. And somewhere so, she's mad going, stop talking about me. No, no, no. You got to hear this for a second. <laughs> okay. All right. Lily runs Lurid Wares. What is it? It's an oddity shop that specializes in human skulls and remains. So, Body parts. Far we, out. we just lost a, a very important one of those in Houston, but to fire, if I remember correctly. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, we did, unfortunately. So you're, you're here in Dallas, I take mm -hmm. Yes. It. Okay. Lurid Wares. Lurid, Lurid Wares. Cool. Do you, have a, do you have a shop people can come in and browse? I do not have a online? physical shop at the moment, but there might be an announcement soon yeah. about that. But, but you can see. browse online. Mm -hmm. yeah, I do good have luck an online to you shop. Then. That's, yeah. I hope you Thank get you. A, a I appreciate it. Brick and mortar yes. store. Brick and mortar. Say. Who needs brick and mortar? Well, no, you can no. make it out of hay or well, sticks. Hope, well, hopefully, for well. Evil for Dinner 2, we can come shopping at your new store. Oh, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> So dessert for dinner. Remember what Richard well, we, Middleton we said joke last Like week? brunch for dinner or brunch for Fr evil for brunch, maybe. Which isn't evil my joke. We told these for jokes dessert. Uh, we had, of course, 
also in the movie in an incredible role, playing the mayor of Austin was the legendary Lloyd Kaufman of trauma yeah. fame. Fantastic. That's and nuts. you he, got to act with him. I, I, well, I'm in a scene with him, but yeah. his, his scenes and my scenes don't really overlap. But, the, the you know, Lloyd was good friends with Lemmy Kilmister, and I'm a Motorhead fan. And Lloyd picked up the habit of Maker's Mark from Lemmy, so I bought Lloyd a bottle of Whiskey. Maker's Mark. Yeah. yeah. And... He texts me the other day. I'm like, oh, my God, Lloyd Kaufman's texting me. He's like, thank you. You know, and he's opening the bottle. So it was a cool moment. Yeah. I'm like, I'm, I'm in the trauma army. So awesome. uh, he, he's a lot of fun to be on set with. Everybody was. For, for, for a grinding shoot with a few locations and, and some people that were kind of new to the industry, it was actually it went fairly smooth. Good. Uh, it was good. It was awesome to be on set. Um, Travis, yeah. Joe, Catalina, Travis, Corey, Joe, and Jordan, Lloyd, you, Lloyd. Wait, your... yeah, I was there. <laughs> I mean, a great team. So, Evil for Dinner um, timeline is what this year you think? Or well, we'd like uh, you know this is post production stuff, and they don't let me anywhere near that. I'm not nearly smart enough. Um, we, we've wrapped principle. You never know when we have to go back in the studio to dub a few lines or something. That sound went off. But I would like to think it'd be out by the end of this year or sometime yeah, early yeah, next year. Yeah, Frightmare cool. next year would be cool. awesome. That, wouldn't that be great? What else do we need to know about it? So, shameless plug, anything. Shameless yes. plug. Yeah. Uh, you get to see my range as an actor in it, which is about that far. I thought you were um, going to say your ass. Uh, no, nobody yeah. sees that. Nobody wants to see that. Oh, Although okay. we do have some lovely young ladies in it and their asses. So this is a, this is like a throwback, an homage to like 80s true grindhouse gory horror. Yeah. And if you like that stuff, this movie is going to blow you away. Oh, yeah. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. yeah, the, yeah. the kind of stuff we grew up watching, you know, at 2 in the morning on Cinemax, which is blood. We had a blood cannon. A blood we cannon. A blood, a blood cannon. That's what and we need we to know. Hit, we hit Lloyd Kaufman with a blood cannon, Whoa. and he was like, "Bring it on!" Ah. Yeah. <laughs> what is? How does it work? So. Uh. Wait, 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 I don't know who brought the blood cannon, and I don't know if it was like magically like seanced to us by some demon, but it's a it's you a need one of those. We, we summon a blood cannon. It's it's an air compressed tank and it's a tube and they fill it with like a caulking gun full oh, of gotcha. blood okay. and <laughs> So who fires it? York? Or no, Joe you're, or no. Uh, we, we actually some of our uh, our special effects people on set and Tori. some of our makeup people and, and did Tori, uh, Tori didn't do it, but Tori's in my cult in the movie. And I, I started watching this show the first time Tori was on. I've worked with her a few times. Uh, yeah, she was. She plays a member of my cult in the movie. So yeah, uh, I don't think she gets hit by the blood cannon, but a lot of people did. <laughs> and watching is it, is it, it live, doesn't work for any bodily fluid. Uh, is, I'm just asking. I, you know, you could. It, 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 it could be a money shot cannon. <laughs> oh my! <laughs> if you get one, Zayden, it is not allowed in the studio. Wow. No. Uh, not that, the that voice up. you hear is that of Jason Stark, our wonderful engineer. Uh, I'm, not, uh, I'm not cleaning. We want to see. All right. Dump, 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 dump. He doesn't like messes in this room. <laughs> <laughs> Duly noted. Uh, duly noted. Yeah. Nathan Gershon, Vampire evil for dinner. <laughs> so are are you? Um, uh, there's there's a lot of actors in this movie. Yes. Are we going to see a poster with your name on it, and then Lloyd's, and then you know? I'm hoping I'm supposed to have billing in this one. Uh, cool. It's my third co-starring role. Um, I've, yeah. I've, I've only been acting a few years uh, as an adult, and uh, I, I'm supposed to get billing on it. And yeah, I hope there's a poster yeah, with at least my name me. on it, or at least I can point to and go, you see that little guy in the background with the cowboy hat? Oh, come on. Well, that's my double. No. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm, yeah. I, uh, I'm supposed to have billing in the movie, but the truth of the matter is, is whatever it is, I had an incredible time with some yeah. incredible people. And everybody's just going to love this movie. Um, it's it's going to be awesome. And the cinematography is just off the charts. With you know, George. Travis, a great yeah. guy. We had him on a show yeah. uh, via phone call or video call um, a few weeks back. Yeah, I, I watched that episode. And, and again, Travis, uh, he was very kind to me. I met Travis through Joe working on Hellraiser Day when we were doing the, the some of the promotional vids. Yeah. And Travis was PAing on that, and it, Joe called me and said, well, want, Travis wanted to call me. And Travis called me and offered me a role after I read the script, for, and he offered me this. And I was like, yeah, brother, I'm in. You got a short you're making into a feature. Yeah. That's incredible. Right, it's right. awesome. I want to be a part of it, and I'm grateful for it. 
Thank you for being here, man. Carving Thank out some you. time. You drove from San Antonio to be I, here. I, I ran up from San Antonio. I'm, I've got to bounce out of here. Um, Joe Manco, Lil Sparks is, is doing some work tonight in another studio, and I'm going to head over there. Um, it was awesome to be here with Paul. Paul and I've worked together yeah. before. It was yeah. awesome to meet you yeah. finally. I've been watching the show for a little while, and. And everybody in there is talking about Paul, not me, I'm sure. <laughs> Get that guy out of there. His segment's no, over. No, cut, no, cut. No, no, no. Someone did say Paul has the best shirts. What? So oh, he does. He does. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I'll wear anything that has the shining carpet <laughs> on it. Yeah. I have a, I have, um, a cardigan like this, too. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. And I'm ordering I, pillows. If I get reincarnated, I want to come back as stuff in his closet. It's got to be incredible. Yes. <laughs> There are things in my closet you don't want to know about. Oh. oh. Bring them out. Bring them out, Paul. Okay. Bring them out. Right. Hey, uh, Nathan, here's what we're going to do. So we're going to show the trailer. I know this is from a couple years ago yes. for uh, Evil for Dinner. And then we're going to back that. Uh, immediately following that, the trailer for Roadhead. What? What? Yeah. Insane movie. <laughs> did you see, did you try, uh, see our ad piece? Lily Lurid gives Roadhead a thumbs up. <laughs> I always have. I'm pretty sure a lot of people didn't think that's what that meant. <laughs> no. It, they had to keep reading a little bit further. It means all the things. It means it all. That was a wrong. You, 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 you said it was a raunchy movie you made. We're going to talk about that. Okay. On the flip side of these two trailers. So, Nathan, thank you very much, man. Have fun with Joe tonight. And I know you got you got to bounce over there. Really appreciate you, man. Hey, I'm the lucky one. I've, it's a it's an honor to be on your show, and you know I'm playing second fiddle to Pinhead here. It's good to see you, Paul. <laughs> good to see you too. Wash your hands. Thirty what? seconds oh, with soap. On. Show the trailers. Trailers. My name is Howdy. My name is Howdy. I think we're close. I got cell service, but no GPS. <laughs> I'm calling the police. We just found two severed human heads. Run! the human heads on the road. What a great... You wanna kiss me? I just got an idea. Idiot! Can I get a factory reset on my Stephanie? Because this one is stuck in <laughs> mode. <laughs> I love a movie with decapitated heads in it. I do too. Now, if you're Boys. noticing anything different, Nathan has turned into Aaron Ra. And there he is. Wearing his leather, you drove the motorcycle here today. Thank you for being here, man. This yeah, is one busy dude. He is traveling the world here shortly and is with American Atheist Association. All right. And uh, just love talking to this man. And I appreciate you bringing in your spouse, too. Landra, it's always great to see her. Lily is going to bring us up to date on uh, what's going on in the chat room. All right. Let's see. Catalina says, aha, her comment is gone now. It's blowing up finally. Did it disappear? It did. Catalina. Did you delete hey, it, Catalina? No, type it in there again, Catalina. Danny says Roadhead looks so good. Woo! Yeah. <laughs> it's, I think, it is good. I think good. Catalina it's said the Roadhead looks so much fun. <laughs> okay. All right, the poster's go. great, too. This one is hard to swallow. <laughs> <laughs> this one is hard to swallow. 
Now, our discussion previously are on, yeah. well, involved uh, blood cannons, yeah. uh, shooting uh, liquids on a, on, a, on, a, on a set of a horror film, uh, and, um, and Maker's Mark whiskey. So, yeah, we cover everything on this show. So. It reminds me of the first movie I was in. Which was? It was The Zombie Christ. I was an extra in that film, which was funny because I was also the most famous person in the whole cast, <laughs> but I was an extra. Yeah. And I played a, a 80s post-apocalyptic future biker. And my son played a zombie because it was post-apocalyptic. It was 80s, 80s yeah. apocalyptic yeah. Uh, biker zombie apocalypse uh, led by Jesus. <laughs> I love it. So Jesus comes back as a rotting corpse. It's not Beelzebub, is it? No. Jesus comes back as a rotting corpse and leads uh, a bunch of bikers and, for whatever reason, a baby elephant <laughs> against um, against okay. a zombie apocalypse. Because they had one. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. I don't, I don't yeah. like Republican symbols in movies. <laughs> oh, you know. that's true. That, yeah, well. As you do. Uh, the funny <laughs> thing the is, elephant die? Uh, the funny no, thing is, my, my son was helping out with the special effects, so he's one of the zombies, mm -hmm. but he was also billed as the blood monkey. Because you said he had the, the, the he had the gun. Well, they they did the, they did like water balloons filled with fake blood, and they would like be pummeling people with that. <laughs> and so you get hit with a water balloon, and blood goes all over. Yeah, that, that's that's when you don't have quite a huge budget. You know, you use a water balloon for a blood yeah. a blood uh, you know like maybe an injury or a, a bullet yeah. wound or whatever. But real blood, because real blood's cheaper than, yeah, than the fake stuff. What? Yeah. Where? Do you... I, just, I don't know. I just made that up. <laughs> You donate blood? Uh, no. Oh, okay. No, no. Me neither. No. I, I don't to know her stomach. It's too risky. What? Blood is scary. Hey, um, so Paul T. Taylor is Pinhead from Hellraiser Judgment. Man. I don't know if you're aware of that, Aaron. Yeah, he is Pinhead from Hellraiser Judgment. And is in a hilarious Ooh. short movie you can watch now, now. on YouTube called... Well, you can't... Alternative math. Oh, that. that. Alternative math. <laughs> that was fun. That is hilarious. It's got a zillion views. It's had so many viewers right. that they could have qualified for an Academy Award. They were not chosen, but 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 it had that many views. So I a, mean, it a YouTube really struck short, a, chord. a YouTube short could be qualified. It could be nominated. Yeah, if it or, has an, yeah for short film, yeah, I guess. Cool. cool. Um, it had so many viewers because it really struck a chord with people. Yes. You know. I told you, I, I was I had a fit of laughter watching that. Yeah, it was political. It was funny. Timely. The ring is loud. <laughs> Sorry, I won't do that again. Yeah, you're killing me my, over here. One of my oldest and dearest friends goes by the name Morbid. And he's going to be so jealous that I'm sitting next to any variant of a pinhead. Uh, I'm a pinhead variant. I'm the more expensive <laughs> pinhead. Because variants are more expensive. I love it. Yeah, he, right. and, and he looks like uh, kind of a strung out Alice Cooper from back in the day. I wish I did. Right? I he, seriously, sometimes I'm so jealous it. of people who look like that because See the French character actors who have this look that you just go, whoa, that's so freaky. And, 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 and they work all the time. A lot of them. Mm -hmm. Unless and, and, they actually are heroin addicts. And this guy is like since the 80s, he's been living in Halloween. It's just always been. So, uh, Paul, I, I mean, think this, this I, looks like I his, found his your, dressing room. <laughs> your, your image here. You tell you tell me if I'm right on this. What? Yeah, no. That is not me. That's no, not you. No, no, okay. no, no. So it's yes. Yeah, There's too many. Google. Get Doug Bradley. Bradley. Hi, that's Doug. a variant. How are Hi, Doug. you? <laughs> that's a variant. That was the original. <laughs> that was the original variant. Pinhead, ladies and gentlemen, Doug Bradley. Yeah. I wouldn't be here without him. You're right. I guess you're right. Uh, mm -hmm. I guess you're right, Doug Absolutely. Bradley. Yeah. Hales. So, uh, so it's Hellraiser Judgment. You can also find that on VOD and Amazon and et cetera. Everything you can new. buy the Blu-ray and you can yeah. buy the DVD. And now it's available in yeah. England for with, with the UK with that type of uh, whatever district. What do they call it? Pal. Union, huh? Uh, NSC or something like that. I don't know. Pal. Pal. I'm just throwing out words. Hey, Roadhead. Look, 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 Roadhead. So in Roadhead, first off, do we get to see some Roadhead? Implied? Fair enough. Do we get to see decapitated heads? Because... <laughs> yes, yes. It, that, <laughs> and they what I say about the, 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 What, what I okay. say about the title, The Roadhead, it's not The Roadhead, Roadhead, mm -hmm. is that <clears throat> that title means everything you might think it would mean. It okay. does mean that. It does mean that. It probably means that and that and that. Um, <laughs> because, you know, Roadhead, 
obviously, if you look in the Wikipedia or wherever you're going, I, you, go, I go straight to YouTube. The, yeah. Well, the definition is oh, what I'm saying. Okay. Like, uh, cultural definition is, you know, giving someone head while they're driving. That's or getting head while you're driving. That's road head. But then the fact that there are decapitated heads in the road, that's like, obviously, that's Brilliant! a road head. And there are a lot. There's a lot of humor about head in the movie. <laughs> Does anybody of... comment at that point yeah, regarding this that you know the, the concept of deep throat in this case is bottomless? <laughs> <laughs> ah, ah, ah. <laughs> yes, something like that. I must say that in the movie, I do have a stunt item, a stunt, a stunt a item, stunt organ, Whoa! and um, a stunt item. I am very impressive. Yes, you are. I am very impressive well, <laughs> with that. When you do see that, okay, if so... you see it. I'm so not going to give anything away or anything. No, no, no. I, I think you already have. So it, this, you're implying to us there's a scene where we see your waist and a fake to something. And I'm not going to – I can't comment further because okay. you may be right and you may be wrong. And if right. you're right, great. If you're wrong, let's, let's that means throw, something else. Just to make and sure, I can't give anything away. Just to make sure I know what he's talking about, let's just throw out some names. Is it uh, Willie, uh, John Thomas? Uh, <laughs> Johnson. <laughs> yeah, Johnson. <laughs> it's just – Dick Johnson. There we go. As she describes it, it's great. It's great. Oh, yeah? So she liked What that. a great – anyway. Yeah. I don't know. Look, Paul T. Taylor, how are you, man? You're, you're making movies all the I, time. I'm, you just said I'm, Tony Todd. And, I'm happy. I know. I just I shot a, I had a scene with Tony Todd in a movie recently. Um, the movie is called Night Night and it's shot in Corsicana. And um, yeah, there I am. With, I mean, we met at, in, the, in the dressing room or the, the makeup room and he's like, wow, we have a Barker connection. I'm like, yeah, we totally do. I mean, we got Pinhead and we got Candyman, both Clyde Barker. It's like, it was so cool. And, gotcha. you know, it's been 30 years since the original Candyman. And uh, Jordan Peele is the one who's doing the movie. So you know it's going to kick ass. It's what? It's so great. Hold on. The remake is, yeah, not remake. The, night, this night? movie. No, no, no. Now I, I'm sorry. I switched back and forth. Not Night Night. All right. Candyman. Okay. So Jordan Peele's doing totally a remake of Candyman. Yeah. With Tony Todd? He's already done the movie. Um, Jordan Peele. Yeah, Tony Todd. And he's also... Oh, that might be... A, never mind. I might have a secret that I shouldn't tell. All right. All right. So, so the I next won't. movie is <laughs> Night Night Candyman, yes. is what you're saying. Slow I it wish. down there. I <laughs> wish. <laughs> no, it's called Night Night. And... Uh, <coughs> It's and and he was he he was an attorney and I was a judge. So there we are. Oh yeah, it was kind of cool. He's kind of cool perfect. Guy. He's a cool guy. Yeah, very cool. Very yeah. cool. Tony yeah. Todd. So Tony yeah, Tony I am Taylor. I am very grateful that I'm working as much as I am. Um, yeah. I couldn't have. This wouldn't have happened if I hadn't gotten the roll of pinhead. Really? Uh, well, I mean, I might have still been working in film, but it wouldn't. That's what elevated my profile so that more mm -hmm. people wanted to work with me. Nice. So that more people have noticed my work. So it's great because I grew, I, I was mostly a theater actor before that. And a singer. And a singer. <laughs> Although, what, what else, Lily? What? No, no, no. We want to hear what people are saying about Nathan our, says he loves us. Nathan oh, says Nathan. he loves oh, us. Oh, thank you, Nathan. <laughs> we love you, Nathan. And Davina's peeking in on her break to say hey. Davina. And Davina. Danny says he's meeting Tony Todd at Frightmare Weekend this year. Yes! Yes. I so, wish I yeah. was. I mean, I've already met him. Yeah. I wish I was a guest. Oh, gotcha. It's okay. I already did that. Okay. Maybe I'll do it again someday. <laughs> we'll see. Yes, very cool. It's very cool when you were a guest at, uh, at Frontmare. It was cool and because Doug Bradley was there, Clyde Barker was there, <clears throat> Barbie Wilde was there. The, Simon, okay, can I remember everyone's name? I shouldn't even start if I can't remember everyone's name. No, no, All no. the original Cenobites were there. What, when, when that happened, did you have an opportunity to talk um, uh, directly to Clyde Barker? Yes. Cool. And, I was and, at my table, and uh, everyone who was you know associated with me there who was like working you know, friends or running around working or whatever, knew that I wanted to meet him. So I'm sitting at my table and suddenly this guy comes up to my table and goes, if you want to meet Clyde Barker, come with me now. And so I, I was just I, like, I know okay, that assistant. Yeah, I know that assistant. He's great. Yeah. He's Isn't great. He? he is. Um, yeah. and it I, was it kind of a whisper? Yes. <clears throat> yes. And then he whisks very you official. off. <clears throat> and so he whisks me off and I just get to, I get snuck into the front of the line and he just, I, I, I walk up and he's like, 
so you're the new pinhead. <laughs> like, yeah. How was it working with Gary? Mm. You know, I just, you know, he was very <clears throat> soft spoken and sweet and kind. And, uh, so and he signed my stoneware, um, doesn't matter, something okay. I got he's from the Clyde Barker not, store. Okay. All right, cool. Like four <clears throat> um, coaster coasters that fit together and have a picture of Pinhead. Well, that's got to be a special moment, man. So Clive, you know, it was really cool. Basically, gives you recognition. You're the you full, were the new Pinhead, man. Full circle. <clears throat> yeah, it was right. really cool. Right. And and Doug Bradley <clears throat> couldn't, have, couldn't have been lovelier. And I am talking. Uh, it doesn't matter. I was going to say, am I talking enough about Roadhead? I talked about Roadhead. Roadhead. So, Roadhead anyway. is, is a full length film. It uh, is a full length film. It's going to. You're going to ask me where, where Cine, we can see it. Cinequest. 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 In, in, yeah. uh, so we're, we're going to San Jose. <clears throat> we're going to send a, a request over to Jason, our wonderful engineer. Cinequest. Cinequest Film Festival in San Jose, in March. Yes. And um, and so we just want to check the date on that. Yeah. So yeah, cool. <clears throat> anyone yeah, I who's, wish I knew, but I can't remember. Yeah, if you're around San Jose, this this festival is coming up next month, and um, or if you just want to fly out there and see Roadhead, get Roadhead, give Roadhead. I mean, w w watch the film is what I mean. I've seen um, it. <clears throat> you could drive out there. Yeah. You make it a Roadhead journey. I'm in two movies out there. <laughs> I'm in two movies that are going to be there. It's really cool. What's the other one? Okay, you said Cinequest <laughs> Film Festival. Cinequest, yeah. The and other one is March? called Shifter, which is um, sci-fi horror. Shifter? More sci-fi. Yeah, yeah. Shot it up, up in Oklahoma. Um, sci-fi horror is big really, now. really cool. Sci-fi horror okay, is I got it. cosmic. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's about time travel. <clears throat> she builds a machine. She uses it on herself. The, the, the trailer's also out there, but I knew that we were going to talk about Roadhead, so I didn't say, get the shifter trailer. I should have, but I didn't. I bet, I bet Jason, our wonderful engineer, can probably well, find it on YouTube. So there's shifter. that. Probably could. All right, Cinequest. That's March, the festival. Yeah. Look, yeah. March uh, goes March on March 3 for, to 15. It's for, for two yeah, weeks. About two weeks. Um, yeah. Heck yeah. Really Cinequest. Cool. Far out. So Roadhead will be screened at Cinequest yeah. next month. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Great. Uh, yeah. I'm thinking about going out there. I don't know if I'm going or not. Yeah. We'll see. And then you got Night Night coming, and then uh, the, the... Someone's laughing. That's, uh, you Jason. don't believe me? No, I was laughing at Bob White. He was like, Roadhead Trip to, for the... Roadhead Trip. For roadhead this, trip. <laughs> right, that's what... That's so is it a road trip or a head trip? Whoa. <laughs> is either one a bad thing at this point? Let's be honest. <laughs> now, what was the other film? The other film that's screening out there? Shifter. Shifter. Yes. All right, so we're going to go to YouTube. Mr. Jason, our wonderful guy, is uh, going to maybe try and find that trailer. So Shifter, okay. Cosmic Horror, and there's probably a trailer on YouTube. There is. That movie's I wrapped. I that trailer, right. too. <clears throat> you need to be out there. I do. Roadhead trip. Yeah. Lily, uh, what's 2018 up? 2018 vampire new? horror movie. Let's see. Is Jennifer it? Lynn says sci-fi horror. Heart emoji. <laughs> yeah, people love Cosmic Horror. Yeah, they do. I huh? do. I do. I do. I do. Can you marry me? <laughs> okay. uh, we're Shifter. With a title like Shifter. that, you've got so many options. But I mean, it's a, it's, it's a, it's yeah. cosmic sci-fi, Jason. If you're looking for it, it's kind of a. It could be a xenomorph. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I wouldn't have thought. I wouldn't have thought time travel. It's a machine. She's she's a, she's not a shapeshifter. She's a time shifter. She made the machine, and then she shifts time. And who is who is she? she Who's the puts actress? Puts herself into the machine. Do we know the actress? Nicole Fancher is her name. She's right. fantastic. Yeah. Um, she's not big famous yet, but she's gonna be. She's, like you. She's in Oklahoma. She lives in Dallas, I think, actually. But she has she's associated with Oklahoma. As well. What invite anyway, her over? Um, what? Can she's we reach wonderful. Out to her right she's now? the star. It's a big. Okay, role. I think I found it. Shifter. And it's funny because one of the, 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 it's produced and directed and produced and written by the Burns Brothers. Um, they, I call them the Burns Brothers. I don't think they call themselves that, but it's um, uh, Pl Planet Thunder Productions. And I met Zachary. This guy right here? There's so many Shifter trailers, aren't there? Oh, it's there's so vampire. many. No, I'm thinking it's this one. Yeah. Right here. It says short. I think um, it's up, but I don't. Shifter. Scroll down film. a little bit. Shifter movie trailer down there. That's not it. Yeah, I don't know. There's no, so no many. Worries. No worries. There's yeah. so well, this one right here says is a sci-fi short film it. about alien life. That's not it. That can take the appearance of it. Okay. It's on my it's it's on my Facebook page and my Instagram page. Okay, then one anyway. second. 
um, planet hey, no, thunder. No, no, no. I mean, I mean, no worries. You, you have to come back. You have to come One back and guys, talk shifter. I will. One yeah. of these guys was the was the was the on set photographer for Hellraiser Judgment. That's how I met him. Isn't that funny? See, <laughs> yes. Yeah. And, and, and like you said, Hellraiser Judgment, and that springboards you to better roles yeah. and, and more roles and, yeah. and such. Yeah. And, um, and we were talking earlier about his other film. It is called um, Alternative Math, Aaron. It's a, a little 10-minute, 15-minute film on YouTube that you can watch. It's comedy. It's a hilarious comedy that is a take on alternative facts. Alternative math. Does two plus two equals four? Equal four? I say it does. No, it equals twenty-two. <laughs> Beverly so, says it's good to see Paul in action. Relevant. Thanks. Yeah. Beverly says uh, it's good to see you in action. Oh well, thank you. Yeah. Action. Here's Beverly. Beverly Hawthorne. Uh, oh, I, I, is, is it Beverly Hawthorne? Is it Beverly no. Hawthorne? Huh? Beverly Stobel. Stobel. She's a fan. Hi, Beverly. Thank you for, okay, I don't know what I'm saying. I'm freezing. Is anyone else cold in here? You know, <laughs> no, I told him to make it very cold in here, Paul. I'm sorry about that. That's okay. No, it's no. better than, I mean, we like our comedy fresh, right? That's yeah, what, we, that's yeah. what uh, David Letterman <laughs> always used to say. <laughs> Aaron, how's your week been? What, uh, you know, how are things? D trying to get all my stuff ready before I go because I, I can't do anything once I'm gone. So, what, yeah, once you leave, are, are you packing a bunch of books and, uh, you know, and, and, and speeches oh, no, no. and all they, your... All your... They, they sent me, like, volumes of stuff to read before oh. I go. They, and one of, the, one of the things they said, they, you need to read these before you show up. There was, like, four very long science articles and a 400-page book. And I'm like, I'm not going to be able to read any of this on top of everything else that I have to do before I go. I'm going to, to, to South Africa and I'm going to be on a paleontological expedition for two weeks in a remote wilderness reserve surrounded by hyenas and lions and baboons and all of that kind of thing for two weeks, 14 hours a day working, digging up fossils of Permian therapsids. Far out. Right? Well, obviously not a lot of internet access nor a lot of available time. Won't that be nice though to well, not have internet access? I mean, it might be really freeing. You, well, Maybe. it's like when you – if I miss a few hours, I'm overlogged. I can't keep up with it. Oh, right. So right. if I'm gone two There's weeks, that. I don't even exist anymore. So I mean, And then when I get I back – Oh, it's a scary world. I get Everyone. back from that trip, and I am immediately going to be on another trip. Uh, it's a Caribbean cruise thing where I've got to do a presentation on the ship. So there's like three weeks. You poor on. guy. I'm no, it's, man, no, 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 it's like an atheist, <laughs> cru atheist cruise. That's amazing. Atheist that's Cruise. really cool. Yeah. The Free Thought Cruise. Free Thought Cruise. Yeah. Free Thought. Well, what a beautiful way to celebrate atheism. Is that the right word? Yeah. 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 Then to be doing something that you love doing, and I assume you love doing it. Oh, yeah. And, and while the world is burning, I mean, because we're all going to die anyway, so why not just, I don't know. That that made sense to me in my head as it came out. I don't know if it made sense. But I you know I, I completely really cool. get it. I completely get it. I mean, the the world does seem like it's like it's going up. But what the hell? You're going to keep breathing. May as well enjoy the last few, right? Exactly. Look, look. More exactly. than ever, right now, our world needs you, Aaron Ra. It does. Tell that to the hyenas. Well, I will. I, I, I don't want you to come back with, with, with severe bites on your arms or anything. Okay? But I know you suffer the slings and arrows now from everybody because as an outspoken atheist, mm. uh, you can imagine. Oh, yeah. You know, yeah. He's on the receiving end of all, all kinds of you know, trash. Oh, my God. I, I like wearing pentagrams just because I want people who would be scared of me because I'm wearing a pentagram. Not that you're talking about that, but, but still – you know, religious freedom. Okay, we sh we can wear right. whatever we want. Yes. We can wear pentagrams. You know, Hello. because that church is all about religious freedom anyway, or freedom from other people telling you what the rules of your life are. Anyway, that was related. Somehow, this is exactly his life. Yeah. Danny is giving some love to our liquid death here. All right, Danny's giving love to liquid death. We love yes. liquid death. Liquid death. Liquid death is water. It's very we, we need a can. Here, take that one. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see how good that looks with the overhead cam. Okay, we all have to lick up. Now, this is when we assume the metal face, and Where you do it? it like this. <laughs> you got to do the fingers right, Paul. Okay, try and, like get it. try and get it. Okay, Lily. 
Are we doing this? <laughs> that is perfection. <laughs> Say fuck you to authority and all these people who want to cram their religion down our throat. We live in a country that is not a religious, you know, we're not a theocracy. No. But everyone thinks it is. Mm hmm. In government currently. People are trying to make it And back. this is what he and does. Fights every day against it, it, Paul T. Taylor. Yeah. This is what Aaron does. They and got I was it told, all wrong. It's I was told about. that the Satanists were the scary people. They're not. No. Oh, see, hell no. Uh, <laughs> it's the, uh, the opposite is true. <laughs> yes. They're all about your body, your decisions. Oh, they're, yeah. they're all about don't hurt somebody else or we will hurt you. Because yeah. I mean, I don't we want less uh, government, but we want our less government to, do, to dictate everything you do in your personal life. Yep. Exactly. Everything you do with your body. And you all also, how better bow to our God? We will control everything about you with our less government. Which is slavery. Exactly. Which is yes, why religion is. was created. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. That's, why you, that's why you take the hands and knees position with your, with your hands like this, right? Mm -hmm. In class Sub and bondage. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. Yes. I totally agree. Hey, there's a couple of, um, I want to highlight a couple of things. Um, first off, what Lily's doing. And uh, she has a cool um, link tree. Uh, website. So can all right. So you just type this in on Google search, and it'll pull up all of your links, right? So that one right there. That okay. Is it. So yes. all right. So uh, all right. You've got your oddity shop right there. Yes, Facebook can connect right to your Instagram. Your Instagram is the most active. Yes. And is. you're always posting stuff there. How? What is OnlyFans, and how does someone, Ooh. you know, become a? It's 18 and plus. Yes. Right. It is. And so Describe, right. You subscribe. Is it is a lot of really awesome pictures of you? It's a lot of um, uncensored content, like photo shoots, um, filmography, behind the scenes media of all of that. Also, some private Snapchats and you know private messages as well. Cool. So subscribe. It, it, when you subscribe, is it, it okay? It's a monthly fee. Mm -hmm. It is a monthly. Fee, yes. <clears throat> and then, um, and then, you, what do subscribers get like? Uh, I, I don't know, bonus photographs from you? or, or It or, has or um, that feature as well. Um, there's pay-per-view messaging, also um, tipping on any post. It's basically a social media. You can like, comment. There's um, my post feed as well as galleries too. Do you love it? I absolutely love it. You do? Say that again. No, real close to the mic. I absolutely love it. You need an actress in the film? Because that was seductive. I, I'll, I'll keep her in my mind. <laughs> Lily Laura. I don't have her. a lot of <clears throat> oh, I'll be, say. I'll think about it long and hard. You're the actor, not the director. <laughs> I'm the actor. I uh, want to direct, the, but um, anyway. Well, well, when you direct, I'm just saying, you know, you have to come through me to get to her. I'm kidding. Okay. <laughs> Go straight to Lily Laura. There's all her links right there. Well, that's cool. So, awesome. So, somebody can go on the 18 plus uh, fans only mm -hmm. and learn more there mm -hmm. or yeah, sign up mm -hmm. and um, and immediately reap the benefits. Absolutely. And okay. I might be offering a discount for anyone who comes over from the Corpse Paint Show. Oh. Whenever you do subscribe, just right. send me a quick little message on there and I'll give you a price just for you. Um, uh, okay. So, that's send nice. you a message saying, I saw you on the Corpse Paint Show? Mm -hmm. I like it. And right. our viewers just awesome. went down by 90% because all of them changed <laughs> what? off. They flipped over to, to go to the website. <laughs> what? Did they really? They're already there. No, I'm just kidding. Okay. <laughs> they will be. All right. Um, so yeah. what other comments do you have? Did you refresh that? I know that we have um, a lot of people who um, that, that love Aaron, that love Paul T. Taylor. Mm -hmm. And maybe some that hate you, too. I, don't know. I hope so. I don't know. Bring them on. See, someone said that Roadhead was a far cry from Solstice, Paul. I don't know what that means. <laughs> oh my god, that's funny. That's funny. <laughs> Who said that? I have lost it. Solstice, okay. Isa Flores. Ah, oh, Isa! Hey, Isa! I knew you'd be here. Hi, Hi honey. I love you. I like you. Isa. I, like I love Isa. you so much. Solstice was a play, a Christmas show that I did at Theater 3 for two years. And it's like the complete opposite of Roadhead. Okay. Weren't you just doing it this past um, uh, season? No, this past season there was a uh, they You're did doing a different else. type of Christmas show. Okay. Uh, at Halloween I was doing, I was playing Renfield and Dracula. Oh, th that's what I'm thinking of. Yeah. Okay. On at stage. Theater three, on the stage. Place. Theater 3. Yeah, yeah. T3. Yeah. Very cool. They hire me there a lot and I love them. Yes. Me. Well, look at you. <laughs> Why wouldn't they? You wearing a shining shirt? I'm wearing a shining shirt. <laughs> shining carpet. 
<laughs> shirt. <clears throat> Keeps up to date, uh, Lily Lurid, <laughs> on any others. That's just brilliant. <clears throat> hey, uh, so I want to let you guys know that in um, two weeks from tonight, there is a cool event. It is twenty year a 20-year appreciation of Raven Dungeon from KNON Radio. And uh, we got we got the cool flyer right there that Lily's going to hold up. And there it is, too. Six badass extreme metal bands. And uh, the tickets for that are $10. And if you want to meet Lily in person, she will be there. I will. I'll be vending, actually. With lurid wares, including human body parts. Mm -hmm. I'm kidding. But um, pretty close to that, right? It remains. Yeah. Like, if someone burns up in a fire, you have their remains and, like... Mm -hmm. you, I do. You know. I have cremains and skulls and, you know, random organs. This is fascinating. Yeah. <laughs> it, yeah. It, would you... Just would random you, organs? Does Doug Bradley, random organs. What does, organs? Does Doug Bradley know about your store? Because I bet he would... Shop. Are, you, are you in touch with Doug? I mean, would you reach Not out? Not in touch. Okay. I just know. We're going to reach out to Doug on your behalf. Okay. All you. right? And, um... Maybe maybe Doug will talk about it. When and here, his partner, uh, who's an artist, would, would love it. When I was here last week, and cool. you guys told me about that show, I, I had to do a I have to do a presentation in Tulsa the day before, but I made arrangements that I could make that show because a friend of mine has a private plane to run me up to Tulsa what? and run me oh, back wonderful. in time to, <laughs> to, to do nice. that. So, will you please go look at her remains? Yes, please. I'll go look at your remains. Yeah. Yes, I mean not mine personally, <laughs> but we'll see. That's really like cool. When, when they asked if you donate blood, I'm like, does it help? I mean, how can you donate blood when it's clotted? <laughs> right. Yeah. She she to. appears at the blood donation center with jars and jars and jars and jars of blood. And they say, where'd you get all that blood? Is it human? Is it safe? Can we take it? You'll never know. The mystery is Lily Lurid. Um, uh, and there's a couple other things coming up. Um, Black Sabbath. All right. So, all right, guys. Heavy metal was born from an evil midwife 50 years ago next week. So Black Sabbath, the album, was released on February 11th, 1970. That event is going to commemorate it with a, um, a benefit really for Parkinson's awareness or, or at least information on Parkinson's because that's what Ozzy is suffering from currently. Right, my dad died of Parkinson's. Oh, I'm sorry. sorry. I'm sorry, Paul That's T. Okay. It's um, right. So February 11, 1970, Black Sabbath was released. We marked the 50-year birthday at Wits End. That's in Deep Ellum and with the listening party in darkness. No cover. February 11th. That's next week. Um, and we'll play the album in its entirety. We'll talk about Parkinson's and hoping to have some information there or maybe some people from the local Parkinson's Association. You know. And, um, yeah, so uh, hails to Ozzy. Let's hope that, you know, he, he just keeps going. As he does, he survived the 70s. He survived he the 80s. He needs to snort ants. Uh, no? 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 Okay, never no, mind. No, I, I, never mind. No, okay. Maybe that won't I've seen him retire from music like six times. Yeah. He, you know, he retired in the 80s from touring. And then a few years later, I think it was uh, 89 or something like that, He, it, it's like, retirement sucks, tour. I'm back. When Decades did, ago, he retired. When did he do the, his show on TV? Uh, MTV? Was it on MTV? Or the, the Osborne? It was like the early 2000s, early late 2000s. 90s, yeah. somewhere around yeah. there. That's kind of awesome. Mm -hmm. Does um does Clyde Barker sound like him when he speaks? Not at all. No, because you can understand him. Yes, Clyde Barker is very... One sort of the of only shows aired in America that required you to have subtitles, subtitles. for an English-speaking right. actor. <laughs> So, uh, will you do your Clyde Barker one more time for us? So, you're the new pinhead. Uh, no, it's like... So, you're the new pinhead. <laughs> that is creepy. That is the best. <laughs> what was it like to work with Gary? He's a very sweet guy. <laughs> he hangs with P Clyde Barker. Yeah, we're you're old badass. chums. You are badass. <laughs> I've been uh, like Jennifer says, Hail Ozzy and Hail Black Sabbath. Yeah, Jennifer. Hey, Jennifer, please come to that event. It's a Tuesday night. It's free. Um, that's on the 11th. Now, uh, Jason, a couple other things. Um, let's see. DJ Crash, I heard he's great. He's going to be at the Beauty Bar on this Tuesday, which is in two days. 
uh, starting at 10 p.m. That's a free event as well. Uh, and DJ Crashes Me. Uh, it's Turnstile Tuesday at the Beauty Bar. That's um, the new, their new location on Main Street in, in Deep Ellum. Fun. Yeah. And so I'll be spinning um, Dark Wave, Witch House, Dark Occult Music, as well as some fun 80s tunes, you know, to mix it up. Are you inviting me? Yes. You look like you're inviting I me. I am. I'm inviting you. I'm inviting you. I'll see if I can come. I'm inviting you. Jason, Tuesday night, 10 o'clock. Okay. I could do that. All right. There's no more football season, so, you, you know, okay. Football. Well, I, I do play my own music, so. Well, come on out and give me some uh, some song ideas. Song? Okay. Absolutely, man. Uh, and uh, let's see, 20 Year Raven, Black Sabbath, uh, DJ Crash. I heard um, DJ Crash, Crash was actually going to be somewhere else on February 19th. Uh, let's talk about that event. So Dance Beat Addiction No Withdrawal is also at Gas Monkey Bar and Grill. Uh, this is a cool-ass event. So Lord Byron, um, due to a scheduling conflict, is not able to be there, but we replaced Lord Byron with Eve Walding from Manifesto. Ah, I love her. I do, too. Her music is freaking amazing. Isn't it? I or saw her fucking I, amazing. I saw her last night. She was on stage uh, performing, opening up for... I um, saw the pictures. Thank you. Oh, my God. Yeah. yeah. She's so cool. When we met, because she was, I'm sorry to totally interrupt, um, but we, we, we met when I went over to get, what? it was about torture, I don't remember exactly why, I went to her apartment, Joe was there, we were going over the script, or, mm -hmm. anyway, she gave me her, a, 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 a CD, and oh my god, yep. her music is so cool, Isn't and it, it had a, it had a leaf with it, had yes. a, do you know what I'm talking yes, about? Yes, I do. I mean, God is what is what a is, Martian. God is a Martian is mm -hmm. the name of the album. Mm -hmm. It's so great. Mm -hmm. Anyway, I think she's doing the music for the Torturer. I get confused about who's doing what, but I believe she is. That'd be great. Um, I, I guess I'm not sure. That'd be cool. So, Aaron, this is a um, a, a rock band, and uh, Eve Walding plays xylophone in it. How often do you see that? Really cool, right? Yeah. She plays xylophone in this rock band. And she's got amazing dreads, too. Yeah, <laughs> she does. So last night at Gas Monkey Bar and Grill was Mortis, and he has amazing dreads, too. Uh -huh. So it was a dread night. It was dread central. It was right there. It's dread. <laughs> Gabriella um, says she'll try to come over to the beauty bar after work at midnight. Hey, Gabriella, thank you very much. Uh, yeah, that event is from 10 till 2, uh, and it was good seeing Gabriella last night, uh, too. Hi, Gabby. And um, and Jinx as well, and uh, and and all of um, Manifestive, and, and, and it was just a great fun night there last night. Cool. Always cool things happening at Gas Monkey Bar and Grill, and Gas Monkey Live. Hey, do you want to show um, Liquid Death and also our Facebook page and anything else I've sent you there, Jason? Aaron. Um, yes, here's Liquid Death, Death to Plastic. We appreciate Death them plastic. sponsoring the show. Shameless plug. Anything that we need to know? Anything new coming up? Anything on the agenda of the American atheists that we need to just keep fighting? Well, I mentioned you know when I get back from South Africa, I do the cruise. When I get back from the cruise, there's Atheist Day. It's the next day after I get back, and that's in Austin. Uh, well, actually, it's going to be the day before I get back and the next day after I get back. Depends on where it's speaking. One's at the steps of the state capitol, and then one's at probably in the studios of the Atheist Community of Austin TV st TV studio, and then. A week or two after that, uh, well, I have to, yeah, a week or so after that, I have to be in London. Uh, I'm speaking at Cambridge, promoting the, the Phylogeny Explorer Project, and also I'm doing a debate over my old religion, where I'm promoting my old religious belief against other people who are, like one, one of the people on the Council of Ex-Muslims is going to be advocating for Islam in this debate. No and somebody kidding. else who's and a former Jehovah's Witness is going to be going to be debating for Jehovah's Witnesses. And obviously you're, you're representing Neo Christianity? Uh, Neo-pagan occult, occult spiritualism. What, what was your previous religion? Uh, essentially Jedi. <laughs> if, if I had what, read the Tao Te Ching, I would have called myself a Taoist, but unfortunately, I saw Obi-Wan Kenobi first. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> no, but what religion are you defending for that? That is it. It's essentially... Uh, Jedi. Well, I, I call, it's easiest to, to describe as neo-pagan occult spiritualism because we're talking about transcendental meditation, oh, okay. practice of psionics, uh, and all, all of the... Not witchcraft, but... but the types of meditation that are supposed to heighten your your capabilities for what we all thought Jedi and and 
such like that could do <coughs> once upon a time. But I came up with a spiritualism based on that, that I actually did believe what was my sincere religion, and I'm going to be advocating that, and I'm pretty sure I'm going to be able to beat <laughs> the Muslim and the Jehovah's Witness on that. So ex Jehovah Witness representing Jehovah Witness and ex Muslim representing yeah the president Islam. of the council for ex Muslims yeah. is <laughs> debating for Islam. Wow, <laughs> I, I, I like it, right? Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah. And then Absolutely. the next weekend after that, I have to be back. I'll be in Phoenix, Arizona, for the American Atheist National Convention, and that's going to be a big deal. So so look that up okay. if, if you're in the Phoenix area. Uh, Atheist.org. You can get tickets for that. All right, and so uh, ordinary people like us could attend. Yes. All right. Just buy a ticket. Yes. That's in Phoenix. And I, I tend to go to these. I don't even I don't even go for the speakers myself. I go to hang out in the lobby and talk to all of the other non-believers and get you know, get thoughtful conversations going until four in the morning. Good. You know this. You know, the huge. The, you know the huge circle of people and the, and the very intellectually stimulating thing that goes goes on yeah. until dawn, even yeah. though everybody's completely <clears throat> hammered by that point. You know that I, I love those. Look, I do too. Our, you know, if, if we have a gathering at my house, it might not rise to those levels, but we can have fun. And so all of you are invited uh, yeah. to my house to have philosophical discussions when Aaron Ra's back in town cool. uh, down the road. And, Catalina um, is asking if that debate will be streamed anywhere for anyone who can't attend. It will. Uh, the YouTuber David Worley is going to be covering that, and I think he's doing a live stream. And he, even if he doesn't, it's going to be on my channel within a week. I love you being here, man. I do too. I enjoy it too. Yes, yes. And great to see your lovely wife. Yes, and I know she's a speaker as well. And a registered badass. Paul T. Taylor. Yes. Yes, I mean, the Hellraiser Judgment. But oh, now yes. it's all about Roadhead. It is all about Roadhead. And Night Night. Yeah. It's always been about Roadhead. <laughs> Shift is <laughs> about. The, the voice you heard was from Jason Stark from Stark Enterprises, our fantastic engineer. Lily Lurid. All right, what's new in your world? We're, we're going to be at the church on a week from tonight. Yes, we will be. All right, so so that event, you, the, the people can still get tickets for it. Mm -hmm. it's yeah, a, absolutely. If yeah. you don't go and get them online, you can get them on the, um, the event's Facebook page. Okay. And if you are a frequent goer of the church and you have church dog tags, you get $5 off your tickets. And uh, so that event is <clears throat> a Vampire Court of Dallas fundraiser yes we are fundraising for an anti-bullying campaign yeah anti-bullying um, vampires good. for anti-bullying vampires for yeah. anti-bullying okay yeah vampires are people too man. <laughs> vampires are people too are they people you too. know i mean lily lord might drink human blood you know but she is a wonderful person did I tell you the last time I was here when I was a little kid, the vampires didn't scare me. I would be stuck in the movie theater for the for the Disney double feature, but then my parents would forget to pick me up and they'd be watching the, the more grown-up films oh, after that. Oh. All the vampire <clears throat> movies and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. But those movies never freaked me out as bad as the ones that had to do with pilgrims chasing people around in their little witch hunts. And I, I decided yeah. that the pilgrim was oh. the scariest thing I'd ever seen. Yes. Because it's a human, but you can't reason with it. Yes, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> what, do those like, exist? A lot of them. Yes. Wow. Like everyone today. Wow. But that's that's my sincere opinion as a seven-year-old child. I agree. But Lily, fill us in. What a Hope Lang movie. Catalina says, yay, VCD. Okay. All right, so she should be there then, yeah. I guess. Yeah. Get your tickets, Catalina. Where is she on the board? Is she on the vampire... I'm not sure. Okay. I'll have to see. All right. That's a week from tonight. And um, yeah, at the church in Dallas. So we got to wrap it up. I'm getting all kinds of signals from Jason. Paul T. Taylor, I love you, man. I love Aaron you too. Ra, so good to see you. And I love it when you wear leather. I do. Lily Lurid, please, everyone, check out her cool sites, right? And you can that's meet her in person on the 16th over mm -hmm. at Gas Monkey Bar and Grill. Thank you guys very much. We're here every Sunday. We'll be back. All right, real quick. We're going to be back next week with guess who? Mia Wallace, the badass bassist from black metal band Abath. Abath. Uh, but she was just kicked out. That's her right there. Oh and um, she will be talking with us live video cam from Italy. Um, we have a couple of pictures of her. And then the, and then later in the month, we're, um, we're talking with the band The Drowning, uh, extreme metal band from uh, Britain. But, yeah, hails to uh, Mia Wallace. That's going to be great next week. <clears throat> yeah, definitely. There's the drowning, their new album. All right, love you guys. It's the Quartz Plane Show. We hope you get what you deserve.
We want you to elevate your life by going underground. By that we mean supporting independent art, independent music, independent print, independent movies.